I'm happy to be back here on Trivia Thursday. Tonight, we are going to be continuing doing the Crowd.Live version of trivia. So what I have you do, if you are on Facebook here tonight, just write down in the comments that you're here and that you're ready to play. You can, in your chat, just jot down, you know, hey, I'm here. Um, you can also do the multiple choice here as well. Um, but if you really want to be more interactive and you want to be a little bit more competitive, I'm going to be live on my YouTube page. So if you want to stream the live from your TV when you log on to YouTube, just search Amy on Cloud Wine. My live that I'm doing here on Facebook will also go live on YouTube because I'm multi-streaming at the same time tonight. And um, then when I share my screen for CrowdPur and the link that I'll be sharing, you're going to be able to be on your cell phones and you're going to be playing along while I have this on the screen. Um, so first I'm going to, while people are coming on, we're going to be, I'm going to be sharing the wine of the night. Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much for coming. Tonight you guys are going to have a special treat while people come on. I am going to be using my wine key to open up a bottle of wine. Okay, so tonight we are drinking a Spanish rosé. Hi, Jen. Thank you so much for coming on. So one of the things I'm not good at doing yet is opening a bottle of wine without using a tabletop. So first I'm going to take out the sharp end, and I'm going to cut below the lip of the wine bottle, okay? I'm gonna twist it around, holding the key, you know, the blade part to it. I personally like to cut the foil up top by the cork, and then just peel it back. Um, when you have the foil, I, I can never honestly get a clean foil on my bottle of wine, but uh, the point is to make it a little bit more uh, hygienic and to have the foil below the lip of the bottle if we can get it always struggling it's one of my fun things about opening a bottle of wine okay so there i didn't touch that part of the lip i don't have a clean towel either but there we go that's how i'm serving my bottle of wine to myself i am then opening up the cork screw to get the worm out. Okay, so now it's flat. I then am going to turn this at a 45 degree angle to put the worm in and you start turning. Okay, and we're going to turn to about the last coil and that's where we get to use this handy dandy double back um, corkscrew. So the first layer, once you get it to that last screw top, you're gonna be able to use this first level. So again, I'm not good enough where I can use do it by hand. I have to use the tabletop. But then you take that, you push up, right? Then you're gonna use the second layer of the corkscrew and push up again. And that's how you open up a bottle of wine. So I also wanna be honest in saying that Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you. You guys are the best. Um, if you guys are drinking wine tonight, please feel free to share what you're drinking. I am drinking a rosé from Spain. Now this color reminds me of a watermelon Jolly, Jolly Rancher. Um, I'm gonna be honest in saying, I have no idea how to pronounce this name. So one of my favorite tools to use is Forvo. Forvo, F-O-R-V-O, and it's a pronunciation app or a website that you can use. So this is the exact pronunciation of this wine. Let's see if I can get it in focus here. Okay, I'm gonna play it for you. Chomin. Chomin, and the next part is? Chomin, it's Chinese. There's no way I can pronounce that. So I'm gonna be working on that. In the meantime, let's talk about this color wine. I'm calling this a deep pink. Now, this isn't salmon or um, any other type of thing. This is like pink. Um, so I'm gonna, again, describe it as a watermelon Jolly Rancher color. For body, 
it is medium minus on the nose. Mmm, fruity. I'm I'm getting some floral, some herbal notes, maybe like tarragon. But when you swallow it, it's light. Medium acidity, some hints of red fruit, like I would say almost melon-like, but I can see it also being a tad bit of like raspberry. It is off dry, it feels more sweet, but, and the alcohol I would say is like 12%. So I would rate this wine a three out of five. Again, this is a rosé from Spain and Let's see. Actually, I cannot find the alcohol. Oh, the alcohol level oh, is not there all the way. Maybe it's 13%. So that's the wine of the night. So I'm going to explain quickly how we're going to be playing the trivia. Again, if you can watch it on YouTube or whatever it may be, you're going to be able to see me talking about it. And I'm going to be sharing the screen right now. Okay, so I'm gonna be playing the wine quiz first, and this is the code tonight. So what you're gonna do is type in on your phones, crowd.live with the code YWRQY. And now I'm gonna play that right now. So now let's, uh, oh, Jen is drinking a champagne. Oh, very nice. Jen, if you could share what region you're having tonight, I would love that. Um, also, with all three quizzes, we should be done in 15 minutes as long as it's gonna be ongoing. So I'm gonna start one quiz. It's gonna have a time, uh, countdown timer, and you're gonna play along. And then when that's done, I'm gonna start the second. And then after that's done, start the third game. So that's why I have three links tonight. But as I do it, I'll be sharing each code. All right, so let's give this a try. All right. All right, so we're starting in six seconds. All right, we have Sour, who's also drinking a rosé from Italy. Very nice. We're both drinking um, Old World wines tonight. All right, guys, so the first question we have. This white grape is famous in California. Is it Chardonnay, Syrah, or Pinot Grigio? Also, the quicker we you answer, the more points you get. So be on it, guys. Be in it to win it. It made it more competitive by having the seconds countdown. All right, so we have Sarah and Michelle. All right, remember, if you're streaming live from YouTube, you're gonna be able to see it on your TV screen or say you're playing on your laptop, and then you're also able to play here with me tonight. Okay, and also you can be writing in the answers here as well. And I will share those multiple choice answers for you. So the answer for the Italian grape variety is Nero di Avila. That is a very nice variety from Sicily. And um, I believe Puglia as well. What is the color of rosé? You guys know this one. Is it white, red, or pink? Right, pink it is. Good job, guys. Next question. Remember, the quicker you answer, the better your score will be. All right, Jen is drinking a Laurent Perrier, Perrier Brut. All right, I am, I think I may have had that label before. Um, very nice. So yes, the answer was C. Where can you find Riesling? In Germany, England, or Italy? So these questions, if you played last week with me while I was giving a try to all this crowd live, uh, crowd.live 
experience. Um, I was unable to figure out how to share the screen, but this time I practiced and it is working well. What I like most about this experience is I just, it's playing on its own. So I'm able to talk about whatever I would like to talk about. That is correct with Germany. How do you hold a wine glass? By the bottom, by the bowl, or by the stem? So one of the fun things about this wine tonight is it's from a new site that I would like to talk about tonight. It's called, um, oh wow, Lifetime Vintage. I had a moment where I forgot what it was called for a second. Lifetime Vintage is a website that does many things. Amongst its selling amazing wines that you should be trying, it also has a wedding registry, a book club, a, you know, similar to what I did with Book and Bottle. It also has a book club like that where it gives you bottles of wine and a webinar with an author. It also does gift bundles. That's where I am selling my bundles, guys. So the experiences that I will be sharing in the future, the events that I will be hosting are through that site. So I have curated and picked out a wine selection for you and I to drink together. Uh, so what I have, my free live webinar is July 29th at 7.30 EST, and I picked out two Sangiovese wines, um, high ratings, I did my research, and it is a package, it's being sold for $55, and you can find that on my events link on my website. So grab that RSVP through Eventbrite, and we will be able to sip the same wines together. So I'm very excited to be having a partnership with them. Um, so this, Rosé from Spain is from there. So I'm hoping, you know, temperature wise, I probably didn't chill this Rosé enough because I forgot to put it in the fridge. Um, if you guys have wine refrigerators or systems that you enjoy and you want to recommend, feel free to comment below what it may be. All right, guys, we're on to the last question. Question 10. What is the noble grape for July? I just me me uh, mentioned it, so I hope you, um, oh, you know what, it didn't save. All right, think about it for June then. What was June's grape? The answer is, Gewürztraminer. All right, guys. So Sarah, you won with 641 points. Michelle in close second at 415. And mom, thanks mom for supporting me, um, with 337 points. All right, guys. So that is the first round. I'm going to get the second round ready right now. Um, let me know what you guys think of this format. Do you Give me some feedback of what you think of it. The next round will be the 4th of July. So I am now going to be sharing that code. It's crowd.live T0087. All right, guys, I'm going to share that screen with you right now. And we're going to get started. For those who are playing, again, um, through Facebook, just write your comments below. All right. In three, two, one. As of 2020, how many stars are on the United States flag? So other things that I done this week alone, Monday, I relaunched my website, guys. So now you can understand a little bit more about the wine tastings I've been talking about for so many weeks, about the online tutoring that I'm offering for those wine students who are needing a little bit more help. You know, a lot of these programs are self-study. And 
you know, it's, it was hard to study, read, taste wine and learn on your, by yourself. In fact, I took that exam twice. So I figured why not create a little side business where I am helping those students kind of tune into what needs to be done, help them stay on a study schedule and hopefully give them the tools needed to succeed in passing that certification exam. Okay. Um, so yes, yeah, so that all that stuff is available now on my wine tasting, my online tutoring and events tabs on my website. The 13 stripes on the flag of the United States represent what? The 13 years of the colonists, the right of the declaration, the original colonies or the 13 first colonists. Awesome job. You're doing great, Jen. If you know some history, I think you'll be okay. You know, it was one of my favorite subjects besides doing science classes. So uh, history, it's, it's always an interesting topic. The colors of the United States flags are red, white, and everyone should know this one. Now the thing is, did you write it fast enough? All right, so we have Sarah, Michelle, and Mom in the winning. We have Jen also playing, awesome job. What is the official title of the United States National Anthem? America's We, The Stars and Stripes Forever, The Star Spangled Banner, Grand Old Flag. I figured I'd do this trivia just to get in the, in the mood for the 4th of July. Um, I'm personally having a small gathering of just two couples and we're gonna have some barbecue and go in the pool. All right. What year did the 4th of July become an unpaid federal holiday? Actually, I thought this one was hard, but you know what? I have to kind of get you somewhere because it's all about the points, right? I hope you guys are having fun and you're being competitive. The answer is 1870 B. You have some votes for D, but the answer is B. How many original US colonies were created when seeking independence from England? Think of the stars and stripes. So going back to this rosé guys, the more I'm drinking it, the more minerality it has, it's light on the palate. I would pair this with, really a grilled chicken would be nice with this. It's light, refreshing, maybe some tomato, maybe a squeeze of lemon to tone down that acidity. You know, it's one of the styles that I like most about a rosé is the acidity. Who was the main author of the Declaration of Independence? Alexander Hamilton, George Washington, John Adams, or Thomas Jefferson? Fun fact, um, the, the main author is my favorite president, Thomas Jefferson. Excellent. And going back to what the question was before, both Anthony and Jen, you got those answers correct. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from what European country? Germany, Italy, Spain, or France? Awesome job, guys. Also smart. Yeah, so one of the fun things about France is we have matching Statues of Liberty. They have a smaller version in one of the gardens in Paris, and we have the larger version in New York City. How many men signed the Declaration of Independence? This one was hard, but again, let's get that competitiveness on and choose an answer. If you guys have any questions regarding any of my services, please feel free to contact me. I'm also offering for wine businesses the service of content creation. So I'm still doing my influencer things where I am taking photos and making video. I prefer to do video and kind of sharing the product. 
All right, so ignore the first player because that was me testing out. I forgot to clear the results. But Sarah won with 672 points, Michelle with 534 points, Mom at 368 points. All right, and for Jennifer and Anthony, you guys are also doing very well as well. Right, guys, this is the last round. So let me get that screen up. Now, this is for those who love to play, I'm sorry, love to watch Netflix. Um, if you are an avid Netflix watcher, this is going to be for you. All right, we're going to play in 10 seconds. And go. First question. Which of the following is not a name of a Netflix baking series? Nailed it. Zumbo's Just Desserts, The Great British Baking Show, and Ugly Delicious. Oh, sorry, guys. I forgot to share the, the code. Here we go. Netflix crowd.live slash YZCDM. D is correct. Ugly Delicious. All right. Michelle in the win with 78 points. Mom, 21 points. Sarah, I'm sorry. It's probably because I, I didn't share the code fast enough. Sorry about that. What is the title of Chris Diella's 2020 Netflix stand-up comedy special? Man on Fire, Whitney, No Pain, You. You know what? I'm watching Disney Plus too. I'm catching up on Pirates of the Caribbean movies. And I'm also watching a few of the classic Disney movies with my baby. Um. All right. What is the name of the Netflix sequel to Full House? Full House 2, Fuller House, Fullest House, A House Most Full. Um, the best movie we watched so far, the best reaction he has had is from Fantasia because it has all music and bright colors. B is the correct answer. Good job, guys. All right, next question. Michelle, you're doing great. 244 points. Which Netflix original series stars Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin? Happy, Grace and Frankie, Kim's Convenience, hashtag Black AF. Trying not to curse on live. Great job, guys. Grace and Frankie is the answer. Which Netflix original series stars former WWE wrestler Big Show? Welcome to the Octagon, Back in the Ring, The Big Show Show, Last Man Standing. The Big Show Show it is. Excellent job. All right, guys, we're halfway through. Question number six, with over 14 season, which new Netflix edition centers around the adventures of brothers Sam and Dean Winchester? The Walking Dead, The Witcher, Supernatural, Legacies. Legacies. Correct. Supernatural. You know, I never watched that show, but I'm very interested in watching it. Um, I was a big fan of Gilmore Girls. So to watch Dean in a different show, I would probably watch it. Which Netflix series would you associate with the quote, Ew, David, Schitt's Creek, Bloodline, Orange is the New Black, Bojack Horseman? Correct, Jen. So I heard really good reviews of that show I have to it might be my next Netflix binge code eight is set in the world where what percentage of the population is born with varying supernatural abilities four percent fourteen percent twenty four percent thirty four percent anyone doing a refill 
The answer is A. Yes, it is funny. All right, I'll definitely I'll definitely watch it then. How much money does the winner of Netflix show Too Hot to Handle receive? 100,000, 250,000, 500,000, a million. The answer is 100,000. So answer is A. All right, guys, we're on to the last question of the night. Which Netflix TV series stars Jan Jason Bateman as Martin, Marty Bird, Ozark, Money Heist, Stranger Things, Bloodline? Is it really? All right, you, you and Jen are are going for it. You know, highly recommending it. So it it might just have to be my next one. Anyone having a little refill, guys? I really can't get over this beautiful color. It is really beautiful. I have to learn a little bit more about it. So Michelle, you won with 608 points. Sarah, close behind at 536 points. And mom, 176 points. Thanks, mom, for playing. Um, all right, guys, so that was trivia tonight. I'm going to end with the last three minutes here. Again, recapping what I've been doing on my website. I uh, redid it. So again, please check it out. I'll write it as a banner. For those who don't know, it is that's my website. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think. I would really love your feedback. Let me know how the navigation is. Do you find it a little bit difficult or you find it easy to find things? Uh, lastly, the month, uh, the noble grape of the month is Sangiovese. So we're traveling to Italy this month. I'm really excited. This is the noble grape that got me all into this wine journey. I was traveling in Tuscany on a Euro trip and uh, we stopped at Latantia and I had a Chianti. It was the second to last wine on the wine tasting lineup flight. And I just could not get over uh, how fruity it is. Slight bit of spice at the end. It was light bodied. It is the. It's just a wonderful grape variety. Um, it can be in blends. It could be on its own. So this month I'm going to be focusing on that. This weekend I'll be sharing a flashcard set, and uh, we're going to keep things fun, educational, approachable, and affordable. So the wines that I'll be sharing this month are going to have various wine ranges, and. We're going to, uh, thank you so much. I appreciate that feedback. And uh, again, the live free webinar is July 29th. It's usually the last Wednesday of the month. And there you can drink along with me. I have a bundle on Lifetime Vintage. On that events page on my website, you can find it. There's going to be a countdown. It's going to be, actually, you know what? I could just share it real fast. Why, why explain it when I can show you? So you head to the website. All right, guys, this is the new look. Here I have my major things. We're going to go to wine tasting. This is where I'm sharing my themes, what you can choose. I have some tasting bundles. So I already chose wines for you. So give me a theme. If you want to do Italy, I will come up with three bottles of wine for you. Um, you're going to choose your online tasting and time and date that you want. If you have any questions, let me know right there. Then you can go to events. This is where I'm talking about that free live webinar of San Giovese. It's in 26 days. You can purchase your wine bundle here. It brings you to my Lifetime Vintage site where I have my gift bundles and you can purchase it there. Remember, all these prices include bottles of wine. This San Savory Sangiovese has two bottles of Sangiovese. Your private wine tasting and your group tasting has three, bundle, three bottles of wine already included in that price. Also, I'm offering blind tasting. So let's say you really wanna enhance your wine tasting skills. I will give you four wines 
that we can taste blind together. Or if you really want to work hard on it and you're a little bit more of an expert, we can do even do six bottles of wine. All right, guys, so that is the end of my little spiel. I appreciate everyone who's been on and playing trivia. Again, just let me know what you guys think of, the, of this new trivia feedback when I want to do um, multiple choice. Otherwise, I'm doing continuing to do uh, the Wheel of Fortune version. So again, I'm drinking rosé. I hope you guys have a wonderful, happy, and safe 4th of July. Cheers. I hope you explore new wines. Good night.